Hey guys, welcome back to Apco. In the last episode of the Android app development series, we use custom claims to do the authorization using Firebase and Twitter. In this episode, we are going to use Google as our authentication provider and do authentication and create a user. So let's get started. Here I am in the application uh, we left off, right? So we have sign in with Twitter as driver, sign in with Twitter as user, two buttons. So let's have another two buttons for the Google, right? So this is not a pretty UI, but I want to show you how to do the development. So let's get a, two copies from these buttons and change them accordingly. I'm going to copy and paste this test and change it to Google. Right? So we can change that thing here. And here. So Let's move these guys a little bit. Now we need to change this into Google, right? Okay, so let's have the click handlers to these two guys. Here uh, I'm using the Kotlin, so we have the access to the view items by their IDs, right? So if you haven't watched our earlier videos, please do, and then you can understand uh, about the process and how we did the earlier parts. So here yeah, I'm just having to click listeners to those buttons right so let's have this um, on click event let's handle that one so we have button. Right. So let's create this method, right? Okay, so let's first have the sign out button because uh, do the sign out because we are not having a you know complete tab so uh, we can log in using same user by signing out in the sign in right so now we need to pass this to the view model and we need to pass this activity and this driver flag and this file and so right this is not necessary because actually we can access it to the uh, Firebase or get instance but as a single term one, right? So let's create the method. Okay, so we don't have to have the you know main activity per se, but for activity, right? So yeah, uh, now it's good to go. So now we need to have add few. Uh, Okay, so why this w, right? Uh, now we need to add few libraries to do the authentication, right? To use the uh, Google as the authentication provider. So let's go to the Gradle scripts and app scripts, right? So 
okay guys so i'm going to paste the library we need to have so it's the android gms play sizes or library right so let's sync it and in the main activity we need to override the on activity result because uh, this in the google authentication uh, the way is somewhat different right so we have to have a on activity result right okay so now i am in back in the sign in view module so here we can use the google as the authentication provider right okay so first we need to get google sign sign in get last sign in account right so uh, for the context we can pass activity and let's get the account right so if we have this account that means user has signed in using google right so if that is not the case now we can actually do the authentication for that we have to use something called google sign in sign in you okay we need to have google sign in options right and using below there right we need to have request token right so for that one we need to activity get string dot string dot default web client id right so this is uh, coming from the uh, this we have the assist as the uh, i show you earlier we have integrated the application um, now it should be here right okay so uh, it's come from this google services and the plugin uh, earlier we did the data authentication so we have this one right so what we need to use uh, is the default web client id okay so i'm going back to the android view okay so we need to have this one first right okay again we need to have the google sign action default signing and here we need to request email and build right so let's format this one okay and now let's go to the right okay guys now let's get the client to get the client we can use the google sign in and get client option right so for that we can have pass activity as the context and the so as the okay now We can have a sign in intent and do the sign in, right? Uh, let's check for this client and if it is not null, we can get sign in intent from this client and this is sign in intent, right? So we can actually now start activity for result. So and pass this sign in intent and for the code let's pass uh, we don't have a constant file here so let's have it a constant file right uh, so it's cons um, okay. so const where it's google sign in in request right so let's have 301 let's pass this one constants for google signing right okay guys so next part is in the main activity and the on uh entry result right so uh first we need to have the it's super call we need to have the super call so i'm 
then to again add that on one activity is out right so now if the request code is equals to the constants for google sign in request now we can do the authentication from here right so basically what is happening in when you click the button it goes to the view model and it creates the signing client and it creates a activity for result because uh, start the activity with the intent uh, that intent shows the google sign in and if you click on sign in and the sign in happens then uh, this main activity on active result get caught right so let's get the google sign get get signed in account from intent right so we can pass the data right now okay so now actually this is should be this should be task right task bucket result we need to have this IP exception dot class dot job right so this is the count right so if this is not null we need to again call the VM using with different arguments right in this time account Right, so let's create a member function again. Okay, so this is the count actually. Right. Now we can do the actual Firebase authentication here. Now I'm going to delete off this parameters driver and Firebase one because it's not required anymore. Okay, so right. Okay. Now yeah, in here. Now we can do the Firebase application. So, okay, so let's use Firebase or dot get instance, right? Now we have the uh, we have the auth instance. Now we need to get Google auth provider and get credentials right uh, to get the credentials we need to check first account dot get id top id top right it's not now right. otherwise it is not well okay guys so let's pass the account dot id token here and now we call this one, right? Now we have credentials. Now we need to all sign with credentials call and we can pass the credentials. And we need to have success listener and add on failure listener. Right? So if this not happen, we need to sign out right okay we need to pass the account again yes. and let's have that okay. and give the client um sign out okay so this is the success listener and this is the failure listener in the success listener we can actually uh, create the user as previously right so i'm not going to do that again uh, but i'm going to have a uh, log next tutorial we will show you how to do the backend part right so i'm having failed to google 
Okay. And let's pass the ID, which is the exception, right? Okay. So I think everything is okay. So that okay. Let me build the application. Okay, guys. The application has built. Uh, now let's run the application and. I'll show the client side part, uh, and in the next episode, I'll show you how to do the create user part. Actually, you can also do that run because we have already done the sign Twitter. And in the success sessions, what we need to do is create call the creatives, right? So other things should work without any issue because. We have create tools and get ID token using all are in the way in line code in the previous episode, right? So now we need to uh, let me show you that on the screen of the my application. Okay, guys, uh, this is the application, right? Okay, let's do the sign in go with Google as. Okay, we crashed the application somehow. So let's go to Logcat and see what was the error. Okay, so this is the error I actually wanted you to show uh, because uh, this is some weird error. Uh, it comes as API exception uh, 12500, right? So this is coming because you don't have the email on the uh, correct setup in the Firebase, right? So to do that, I'll show you how to do that in the Firebase console. Okay, guys, now I'm in the Firebase console. So let's go to our application, and I haven't again enabled the Google signing, right? So we need to enable that and support the email we need to set so that's why it was not working right and right so now it should work so let's save it and let's give it a moment and let's try the application again so okay let's have Two debug points in the era and the success scenario. So let's use this one to log in. Okay, I think we got it correctly. Okay, we have the signed in message. So that means we have signed in correctly from the client side. So we'll show you how to. Uh, link it with the backend as in the earlier video and also you can try it out uh, yourself because you have the earlier code right so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions please put it in the comment section